carry a lot, you know, a lot of the players will pick the AWP up, so that's kind of how the team works. But for train, you're absolutely right, scoped rifles, it's all about the range, um, expect to see a lot of AWPs, perhaps double AWP setups, um, and absolutely, Olaf Meister will be one of those players, probably, picking up the AWP. So, this is the knife round, this will decide whoever starts, most likely they'll choose the CT side, because it is pretty CT sided, you know, 10-5 is an average scoreline, um, maybe even 11-4, it's quite CT sided. A fanatic. <laughs> Devil Walk coming in big, taking down two. And uh, actually, you know, before we start, once again, I'm going to ask you for your prediction and your reasoning, and I'm going to give you mine. So, who do you think is going to win this? I think Global are going to win now. Uh, two reasons: one, momentum's definitely shifted on their side, and second, if Olafmeister performs even half as well as he did the last time we casted <laughs> Team Global on train, he's going to carry them, like full on carry them, because. He was sensational last time we casted these these guys. Yeah, I'm going to disagree with you. I'm going to go Fnatic. I think Pronax, with the um, tactical mind, um, is going to lead them to victory. They're starting on CT as well, which is all the better for them. They can get off to a good start. And here we are live in the pistol round. So welcome if you're just joining us. And the first kill is going to Devil Walk. Twist drops, and it's just a fake, guys. They're just drawing them away, getting the distraction there, and they're going to get the bomb down. No problems on this B site here. The early kill will come back to haunt Team Global, you must say, on this retake scenario, but they have to push in now. The bomb is down. Devil Walk's going to get himself another. Can he get another? Not quite. Schneider knows where he is, so he's going to push in. Probably get the kill. Yes, he does. Pronax with one as well. And just like that, well, they made it look easy in the end. Fnatic pick up the first round in fine style. What a retake. I guess the only silver lining, the only saving grace from Team Global is they did get the bomb down, so... This is not all bad news for them. Of course, they'd like to have picked up the round afterwards, or at least some kills. But still, they're going to have a bit of money flowing into their bank. Question is, are they going to go for CZs? Or are they going to try and upgrade their weapons? Nope, they're not. They're going to be going for full Glock with just the one smoke. And I wouldn't be too surprised if they want to try and get that bomb planted again here in the second round. Because Fnatic, everything is certainly stacking in their favor here actually let me go down pop dog getting completely butchered double walk comes in with his double schneider and jw pick up the pieces a very easy eco bash there from fanatic as you'd expect yeah wiped the floor of them didn't they and um something to note jw somebody we haven't mentioned very much oh my what's he doing <laughs> just as i was going to say he only bought a cz in that round um which i inferred from he would be he would be orping he'd be saving up for an orb but he's actually gone for an m4 uh, that's really interesting. So, Fnatic, they don't even need skirt rifles, apparently. They're just going to win it with normal guns. So, in fact, in Global, thanks to the uh, the first round bomb plant, they're going to buy up. So, they're going to go for an early buy here. Fnatic are going to be wise to this. They've all bought up already. No SMGs or anything. And the first kill is going to go for Schneider. Dennis drops. And look at that aggression. JW jumping up from the ladder. Swiss punishes him for it though after only having got one kill. But look at the health from Team Global. Fnatic are in a very good position once again. Looking good for them. But they need to close this round out. Olaf Meister on one hit point. Literally, a flashbang would finish him off right now if it directly hit him. Or thereabouts. But have a look at this. They're playing really slow. Olaf Meister is trying to bait somebody to come in here and they're. Likely going to be happy with the save if it comes down to that one, but the other two players, Twist, just hanging on the top of Pop Dog. He wants to see if he can find anyone there as Pipe has been picked up by a grenade. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be Fnatic, very likely picking up this round with ease. And as you said, that was a save for two rounds with a bomb plant to fast rush the AK 47s, and it just simply didn't pay off for them. No, I'd like to see them. Um save up a decent bank and get those those uh you know mystic guns the big green ones <laughs> the orbs because it's all about the orbs on train and so far we haven't seen one i mean we're only three rounds in but i would have liked to seen um, global saving up and giving an orb to dennis because he's been orping very very well in this series so far and the guy we were talking about before olive meister he can do wonders if you put an orb in his hand in this map we've seen it happen so, curious decision, they just wanted to catch Fnatic off guard and it didn't work out. And as a result, they've only got two AKs and a few CZs. A few nades on Twist, a smoke on Olive Meister, that's about it. 
So where's the push going to be? Very spread out, actually, for Team Global. This might be an A split, two out of Pop Dog, two out of Main, one guy faking the B. That might be the play, but uh, they're just taking their time at the moment. The aim of this round, really, is to get the bomb down. They do have two AKs, though, so I'm sure they'll like to inflict... Maybe get two or three kills and I'll be happy, but um, of course Fnatic don't want that to happen. Flusher still has the Bamas, clearly didn't feel the need to upgrade. And Olaf Meister is going to go to work with the uh, one of two AKs, so he's putting that to very good use indeed. And all of a sudden the B bomb site is theirs, right for the taking. Pronax is going to take down Dennis over on that heaven area though. So we're back to a four versus four. The bomb's actually going to go down. You can count that success on an eco round, but here come the kills and Fnatic. They just make it look easy once again. What a retake. They seem to have this B retake on lock. And uh, a fourth round on the board for them. Team Global yet to score. Well, it could uh, turn out that you are right on the money there. With your call of Fnatic taking this map. But I honestly feel that Team Global they still have a couple of aces up their sleeve. They can still pull this one back. Still early days on train. But certainly the early few footsteps have been going fanatics way. Have a look at this now though. Fast push onto the A. Oh, the T connector. They are looking to try and put together some shots, but that's going to be Devil Walk again opening up the round. Looking to try and get down Pop Dog and make something happen. But this is just again lambs to the slaughter from Team Global. It's all on Dennis. He has the orb, but four players to find. I do not fancy his chances. And he has picked up the first one. So damage control, or is it? Oh, we're going to see an epic comeback. Dennis gets three out of nowhere. And it's now on Pronex. Pronex is going to find himself. Dennis in the backside. No, he lets him run by. Dennis is not going to know what's happening. And I have to say, to put this in context, even if Dennis loses from this position, he's still done such a good job at picking up those three weapons out of nowhere. But he wants to win. Mark my words. He wants to take this round. He wants to put that first round on the board for Team Global. He has spotted the bomb. He has no idea where Pronax is. And Pronax is coming around from the backside. He's now going down, Pop Dog. Made absolutely no noise. Dennis is going to fall. Oh. Such a shame because he pulled off some crazy shots there. But 5-0 oh, uh, is the scoreline. I wanted him to win just because um, <laughs> that was sensational. I was squealing, but I kept it off mark. I've learned my lessons. 5 0 Team Global. Uh, they're going to have to. Think of something to get them a few rounds. Like I, I said earlier, is a very CT-sided map, so don't despair yet, Team Global fans. They've still got something in the lockers, but Fnatic are looking very, very strong. Um, and if these rounds are an indication of things to come, then it's looking good for them. But Pyth has actually replied straight away onto JW. Flush is going to get one. Make that two. Good play from him. This is an eco round, I will point out. But it's very nice to handle from Fnatic. Oh, I'm still getting over that Dennis play. Yeah, you know, this sums up Team Global. It's the individual moments of brilliance that really makes them a joy to watch. And look at this, Olaf Meister and Dennis rocking the orbs. So we're gonna see we're gonna see the first round on the board for them, courtesy of the two big greens. It's certainly possible. It's also important to mention that until that point, Dennis didn't get a kill. Those were his first three kills on train. Uh -huh. The rest of his team were all on one apiece, so they not only are they not getting rounds, but they're not really getting that many kills. These have been shut down rounds consistently from Fnatic. They have lost the first player, though, as Flasher will feel the force from Twist. But, again, Team Global, they're going to have to make use of this. And look at that. Have a look at the map. They are spread out evenly across the map. Have every single angle covered here. They're looking desperately for a pick. But Fnatic, again, they're playing disciplined. They're not giving anything away for free. And Pyth with a minute to go. He's still got the bomb back towards T-Spawn. JW does open up, though. And that's going to give some information as well across the Team Global. He realized two players were on B, though. Schneider is going back to CT Connector. And still, they're not pushing in here, Jono. 45 seconds to go. They're leaving this one for the last few seconds. Flash has come down. Snowstorm descends upon A. There's Dennis. He does get the headshot. In fact, it wasn't. It was a wall bang with the AWP onto Pronax. And now the cavalry fires on in from Fnatic. Schneider will be very nearly picking up the kill. Actually, just fires over the top of the bomb planter. Down to a two versus one. It's all on Schneider. Can he pull off this epic 1v2? No, he can't. Pyth takes him down. And welcome to the scoreboard, Team Global. <laughs> yeah, indeed, yeah, first one on the ball for them, uh, with a, a gap of five, obviously. Um, I was going to compliment them on how they were playing it, because they were setting up to just push somewhere as a team, because they had the, the man advantage, 
Um, so the way you should play it, really, is just group up and take the numbers, um, play the numbers game and just push somewhere as a team. And what they were doing originally, as we see a fast push actually not working out for JW, quite reckless in fact. But yeah, what Team Global were initially going to do was setting up just so they couldn't get pushed and then push somewhere. But Sype went a bit too aggressive for my liking. JW was able to get the kill, but well salvaged from Team Global. Um, they picked up the round. And all of a sudden now, they've got the, the man advantage as well, courtesy of a, a very aggressive JW going down without really doing much. And Pi's going to take down Schneider. Sype, once again, looks like it's a, a death trap for aggressive CTs. And Twist gets two there on A. Pronax and Devil Walk saying goodnight and flushing out the lone survivor is probably thinking about saving another good round from uh, Team Global is going to put their second round on the board more importantly a consecutive round considering the money they're going to be able to buy again if they lose a round and Fnatic just like that you know the balance has changed Fnatic uh, will need the next round well, Shami missed a couple of opportunities there to pick up the kill on side, and he may actually yeah, end up regretting that one. Indeed he will, so clean sweep for Team Global. That is going to be lots of weapons needed to be re on the side of Fnatic. What would you say is a good half for T-side here on Train Jono? What are Team Global aiming for? I think five's reasonable. If you lose a pistol round, then five's good. If you win the pistol round, you probably want six, but um, since they've lost it, yeah, five's decent. Alrighty, well, already two rounds and when they've been playing these last couple, it goes to show again that both Fnatic and Team Global are so momentum based. We saw Inferno getting taken comfortably, Team Global bounced back on Mirage, and now Fnatic started well, but Team Global are looking to finish strong. Again, very slow, steady approach from both sides, nobody giving anything away. JW is the most aggressive player on Fnatic right now, he's looking to try and make something happen, but. As of yet, he's not really going down for him. He's just hiding there at the bottom of Pop Top with a Mag 7, so he's got the close range advantage. You can hear players scurrying above him. Does he actually want to push in here? Because if he does go up that ladder, he is more than certainly going to die. Oh. Here comes the grenade down, does tag him up. Very nearly secures himself a kill, though. And again, Fnatic, you know, just biding their time. I love watching JW, like teasing them on the uh, on the ladder. He is a beast in that area, by the by the way, with the swag seven. He kind of that's his play, you know. If he's not hoping, he does that. But here comes the push from Team Global, just like that. Four members storm out onto this yard area and twist. Opens up proceedings very nicely. Thank you very much. Pronax drops. JW answers, and so does Flusher. Pike bringing one back for his team, and so does Sype. So very forwards and backwards, but we end up with a two versus three. Sype gets another. Now it's just Flusher and Dennis. So one versus one. Dennis is going to fake plant. And he's going to peek up, misses the first shot, and Flusher punishes him. Dennis, you would have thought, had the advantage, but Flusher with some lovely aim is going to take him down. And by the skin of the teeth, Fnatic pick up their seventh. And uh, Global are going to be able to buy again, so it's not all, all not all bad for them. A good round, all things considered. But yeah, Fnatic edge it just in the, uh, in the end there. And these are the rounds that really could end up stacking against Team Global. Every round, oh so crucial, Pronax is going to hear himself, some players gets one, looking for a second, needs to be careful to his right hand side, there are players lurking, but Pronax gets another one, three on three, Pronax gets his third, he's on for the ace, and all that stands between him is Alfmeister and Twist, they are both starting to push towards B though, and Flusher is going to be there, ready and waiting, and hear the bomb going down, this should be a comfortable frag, there we go, Second player and the last player for Team Global is Olaf Meister. And Flusher will do him as well in the side. So 8-2 is the scoreline to Fnatic. And Team Global, they had a bit of a comeback, John. Oh, but it's not really paid off for them. Yeah, as I said, having lost that pistol round, getting it for five rounds is is a tall order. And um, Fnatic seem to be on form. Their setups are great, I'm going to say. And they, uh, they're hitting the shots. They're all having moments of brilliance, aren't they? Pronax in game leader stepped up in that round. Devil Walk as well started off really well. He's the support player, so he's not the guy expected to be fragging. So he, if he's fragging really well, then uh, it's looking good. But Pronax talking of looking good gets his third. It's an anti eco bash, but he's making it look pretty damn good. And yeah, you said it. Um, Team Global, I think they'll want at least two more rounds. If they don't get two rounds, they'll be very disappointed. I think 11 4 is a, a reasonable scoreline for them. Um, expect a good CT half, providing they can start well. 
Um, so it's, it's kind of in the balance at this point. You know, it's getting towards um, the halfway point of the half. So we're going to find out who is going to edge it. And if not, it do pick up the next few rounds in good fashion. Um, it's going to be looking pretty bad for Team Global. Yeah, definitely. Just realised I said he, he did him in the side. That, <laughs> that definitely didn't come out as I was expecting. So I apologise for that. But Fnatic are still well and truly in the lead right now. Team Global, though. They have been playing this, this kind of tactic over and over again and it's kind of a standard one on train that you don't want to put all your eggs in that basket because if you do rush onto the likes of A, there's a high probability you're going to get sprayed down. So we've seen Pronax do a couple times already actually on the CT side. So I can't blame Team Global for this, this kind of, I don't want to say uncommitting attack, but it's really not very confident to me, John. I'm not sure if you'd agree yeah. with that. Um, it's tentative, right? <laughs> that word coming out like that. Um, yeah, but it's it's accurate though. It really is tentative right now. Yeah, Fun, yeah. Bronax is gonna get action. He only gets one. We'll go back to that point. I've got something interesting to uh, talk about it. All of mice has got two for himself. Flusher missing the flick. A wild flick at that. JW will be on uh, mop up duty. Takes down the bomber. Twist falls. Replays two. The health's looking pretty good for the CTs. All of mice and Sipe are tagged up. The time is not looking great, actually, for the terrorists. Of course, the clock is against them. JW narrowly missing his shot. Schneider's going to be a nuisance on this side. He actually gets the kill back to a 2-on-2. Two -two. The bomb does go down. Now you've got to say this favours the terrorists. Can the CTs edge it? They do have the AWP. AWP versus uh, AWP, in fact. So, Dennis versus JW. Battle of the Titans. And Dennis falls in that battle. Can Sight get one for himself to make it into a 1-on-1? -on -one, which would be a lot more doable. JW's got the angle, a very, very small angle like that. He sees him go, uh, go connector there, and Schneider might just defuse this. He's actually going to bait him out. He's going to stay on the defuse, trusting his teammate. No, he's not. He's just going to fake it and kill him for himself. So good play from uh, from Schneider there. If you'll allow me, I'll just I'll add to what you were saying. The tentative play is kind of um, a testament to a lack of direction. I think I feel like Team Global are not a very strategy-based team. Um, and as a result, they, they kind of look directionless. They don't have a really strong in-game leader that's going to throw down a load of tactics. They kind of rely on their individual aim and getting their specs and stuff. And so absolutely, they look they look a bit disorganised because they um, they haven't got a direct push in mind most of the time. Yeah, absolutely, they're going to need to start getting a push here. Dennis goes in, will fall, Olaf Meister also. But JW's in a good position. He does miss that first shot. He hasn't been punished for it, though. See him turn around instantly and try and flee for his life, but going back to that last round, I was a bit surprised they tried to plant on the back of the bomb when CT connector was not covered. There was no smoke down, nobody was watching the crossfire, and that's ultimately, in my opinion, one of the determining factors as to why they lost that round, because they lost the play needlessly, and then the time was ticking down, as you mentioned, they kind of forced into a position they didn't want to be in. But now let's jump into this round, 10-2 the scoreline, Team Global do have the player advantage, but again, Fnatic, they're in pretty good positions. They've got everywhere covered. Pronax again, same position, looking across the T connector. Does also have the only way to his right covered off. JW looking in CT connector, and Flusher is sat on B. So they are pretty much going to have a general idea of what's going on. And again, it's this lack of direction that's shining through from Team Global. They are going to start to push, and it looks like A is going to be their site of choice. And let's see how the grenades, let's see how the flashes come down. They are all together. Do you get the first kill this exchange? It will be Pyth. How is Pronax going to do here at the back? He has started to spray across, gets the first kill. My nice shot from him, but he's going to have to rinse and repeat three more times. He falls down, and now it's all on Flusher. Here is the back of A3, and he's struggling here, John. There's no two ways about it. He's trying his best, but this should be 10-3. Yeah, it will be, um, no doubt. The, the bomb's going down, obviously. Flusher just wants to um, damage the economy as much as he can. Um, gets one nice kill. Flusher is a beast when he warms up. Up there with JW as the players to watch kind of thing. Gets a second, so really good economical damage from him. Being a nuisance, Pyth might even die as well here. Oh, 9 HP, so... Well, that's clever from Flusher, you know. Team Global, uh, they've got their backs against the wall. That is the third round on the board for them, but the money's not great. And they're still struggling. They do need these two rounds, I'd say, to give themselves a, a decent enough chance in the in the second half. So Fnatic, they're probably reasonably okay with 10 rounds. They'd like 11. They'd certainly like 12. Um, 
going into it, their target probably would have been around 10 or 11. So they've done pretty well so far, you can say that for them. And look at this B stack, tactical genius coming out. There's actually three players here. JW is going to push up. Are we going to see? No, we're not going to see an aggressive push. I thought we were going to there. But the stack, absolutely spot on for Fnatic and JW. Sorry, Devil Walk onto Pyth. Great shot. It was JW that fell. And just like that, it's four plays three. That isn't a decoy, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> they were actually stacking on B. So, good play for Fnatic. But they've left A a bit exposed. And that's going to bite them in the backside. And it's going to come back to haunt them as uh, the A bomb site does get opened up. And taken advantage of by the CTs. Now, Schneider, Devil Walk and Pronax on mop-up duty. After plant situation, Schneider nearly getting the second twist, making sure he didn't. Now, Olofmeister, the last man remaining, he doesn't get him. And Pronax playing oh so well along with Devil Walk. Doing the, uh, doing the job there. 11 3. This could be a 12 3 half. And not having that one round on the back of an, an eco round loss, Metas, is, is, is difficult. So they'll definitely want this fourth round. Yeah, and again, look at the scores of Fnatic 12 13, 12 11, 12. It really couldn't be any closer than that. Everybody is pulling their weight. There's the opposite side, Twist on 10. The bottom fragging is Olaf Meister on 5. And that's going to be JW pushing in. And he does also get himself on that elusive 12 frag scoreline. Now going to be popping back out. Olaf Meister actually gets him oh. through the flashbang. Cheeky kill there from him. And Team Global, as you say, they desperately want this round. 11 4 is not going to be the greatest T score, but it's definitely going to be doable. If they manage to win that piss around and get some consecutive rounds on the board, get some bank in their back pocket. Schneider very nearly picks himself up a kill. Doesn't get it on the second time of asking. Doesn't get it on the third time of asking. Onto Twist either. So that's three shots. They very well could have secured this round for Fnatic. Are they going to go begging? 50 seconds to go. Team Global again. They're not really committing to anything. They could go B here and it'll just be flusher that. He's defending, but it looks like, again, they want the A. Twist and Dennis both pushing out together. Schneider and Pronax back on A3. Devil Walk coming in as well. Three quick fire ranks for Fnatic. That should seal the deal. There we go, Schneider. Does get himself to 12-3 as a scoreline. But something I wanted to talk about before, uh, Jono, is surely if Team Global do lack that concise kind of tactical mindset, defense is more suited towards their playstyle because... Realistically, all you need to do is pick a spot and hold it. It is and it isn't. Um, Train's one of those maps where it does actually take coordination to hold. Um, these teams make it look easy, of course, and it is favoured on the CT side, but it's, it does take coordination and teamwork. But yeah, you're right, in a nutshell, it is a lot easier to play CT. And Team Global, they can definitely pull this back, but this is certainly a must win round. If Fnatic win this, they're going to probably be on 15, and that's match point. So, Team Global do not want that, absolutely not. So here comes the push anyway, we're straight into it. Can Twist get the first? He's jumping wildly. Doesn't get the uh, kill, but he gets the call out, so the rotation will come in. Nobody's down yet, and the bomb has actually been planted, so tick tock. Team Global have to hurry up here and get in, but Pronax, long range with the Glock, going to get one. Can he get second? Not quite. Twist has got one. JW and Devil were both answering up. Pronax with another. And suddenly it's looking like it's Fnatic to take this. They've got the 13th round on the board. Team Global a staring defeat in the face with a 10 round deficit their way. And they're going to have to eco this. Possibly force a buy or wait until the 15th round. So Fnatic are in a seriously good position. So today I learned never to make any kind of predictions in CSGO. First map I said, yeah, mate. Don't, really don't close. even come at me, don't even try it. <laughs> Fnatic destroyed on Inferno. I thought this would be Team Globals or it would be very close. They're getting destroyed again. Oh my goodness, CSGO. This yeah. is one of the reasons you have to love the game, though, because it really does throw you through a loop. Eco around now from Team Global. Three Galils, two AKs for Fnatic, and you have to assume that they are going to secure this round pretty comfortably. Ponax watching Pop Dog. There is a player down below, and that's going to be Olaf Meister. He is uh, biding his time, but look at this. This is a, a very ballsy play from Team Global. Four players stacked on B. Now, Fnatic are pushing on to B because, of course, they haven't found out too much information right now on the map, but if they were to rotate onto A, that would be a free bomb site to plant on, and this definitely could end up backfiring for them. They still do have the weapon advantage, but CZ's 
are incredibly strong right now. There, Schneider will pick up the first, drops down, gets himself the second as well. And for all of the stacking of B that was coming on from Team Global, it's not going to pay off for them. Molly kill comes in on the double, but there's JW, and they just lose the one weapon as a result. Oh, man, I was, I was getting excited for Global because they. They played it so well, they stacked B, I love that risk taking, and Fnatic went to B. And well, you could have pretty much sent Schneider down on his own, because he just demolished the uh, the defence there. And Fnatic, 14 rounds on the board, and Team Global are going to let them take that match point, unless they secure an eco round, because they have not bought up. And that's a reasonable decision, but it's going to be a mountain to climb for them. They're going to have to win 10 straight, no, whatever, yeah, 10... Uh, probably 10 straight rounds well they're gonna have to win every single round and not give Fnatic one round back obviously they'll be on match point Matt you know you know it should be a prerequisite to be a Cassie you've got to be like half decent in maths it's the one thing I really struggle at but uh, it's a sub story I'll shut up let's get let's get back into the action concentrate on this 14-3 as I've said team globals backs is certainly against the wall here Fnatic really do like this B bomb site maybe they uh they're really pale and they don't like getting the tan from outside. They want to go inside instead. They've got the guns, they've got the confidence, they've got the 14 rounds on the board. Can they secure it and make it match point for them? Team Global will have one or two things to say about it, but here, come the, here comes the push now onto this B site. Some smokes will uh, allow them free passage. Dennis gets one, can't get any more though. That might not be good enough. Flusher is going to get another, so. It's not forwards and backwards at all, it's all Fnatic. And I'll Sype, the lone survivor with Swag7, gets one headshot. Thank you very much, I will take that. But Schneider, spraying his feet, is going to kill him. 15 rounds on the board. I'm sad to say it, but Fnatic are on the verge of victory already. Team Global have to win 12 rounds, in fact, in a row. I'm wondering, are there any believers in the chat? Can Team Global get the next 12 rounds? Well, uh, you should believe it's your prediction. Mass. True, it would be one hell of a comeback. Dennis has got himself a scout because why the hell not? And maybe, maybe this is the start of something truly magical for Team Global, or maybe not because there's Flusher smashing down sight. Oh, they don't actually get the scout headshot alongside Pipe, who just comes in and cleans up. Pronax is the only player remaining, he's picked up the first in his potential 1v4 clutch, but he's been tagged up, but there's Twist. They do finally get themselves on the board for this half, but I have to say, too I want to believe. Too late. <laughs> I want to believe so bad. Yeah. Pai made it look so good, that was so sexy. Two headshots there, um, and that's exactly what they need. They need their aim stars to start aiming like stars. They need to really step up here. Fnatic are on Eco, so possibly... 15-5 and then it's just 10. Just 10 rounds of CT. Come on boys, you can do it. I believe, I believe. I'm neutral, I just don't want it to be a, a, a you know, a thrashing like uh, Inferno was. But Twist is going to get action, lots of action in fact, gets three! Nice play from him, Anti-Eco bashing at its finest. Good grenade, long range, just flung in there from Dennis. He's going to kill the in-game leader Fnatic and Snipe's going to come in and clean up as well. So that is a fifth round on the ball for Global. I, asked, I have asked you this before, which round um, do you get excited? At which point do you start thinking, maybe they can do this? 10. Around yeah, 10. Yeah, I, I think you're about right, yeah. If, if they can get 10 rounds, not only would that be, you know, double digits, so psychologically speaking, it's going to give them a boost, but that would be, what, seven rounds on the bounce as well? They got three before it became, uh, before they started winning more rounds. So yeah, that would, that would be pretty significant. Do I think they can pull it off? I don't want to be sceptical, Jono. I don't think they can. <laughs> because if they make any mistakes, I mean any mistakes, this game's gone for them. They they have to play perfectly from here on in. JW is going to pick up the first kill, which is certainly going to put added pressure on the rest of Team Global's shoulders. Olaf Meister, we, we pegged him as one of the go-to players, one of the players to watch and train. He's bottom fragging for his team, 7 for 16. And that's certainly one of the determining factors as to why this team currently find themselves in the position they do. Nobody's on a, a positive KDA. Twist is the closest on 16 to 17. Wait, that's 16 and 18 as he falls down to Pronax. And now the B pushes on. Can Olaf Meister to go huge? The answer is a resounding noise. He gets slapped in the face from Flusher. Auto Sniper raining up. But Flusher picks up yet another kill. And that's going to be on Dennis. 
can he go one better than that epic three man that we saw previously with the orbs? No, he can't. Flusher gets the return kill. 16 5 is the scoreline. A Fnatic win this best of three. It's almost a shame, isn't it? Fnatic, uh, they, they won it too easily, I feel. I feel robbed of my entertainment a little bit. Team Global, <laughs> I was expecting more from you guys, but um, in the end, I, I really feel Fnatic were just a better team, quite honestly. Uh, they looked well oiled, prepared, um, confident. They were getting their shots, and tactically, they were sound. They didn't make any bad decisions. They kept it fairly simple, um, but you know, a lot of the time, simple is often better, and it just it plays into the hands of um, the aim and the the individual ability, and just to come as a team and push insight simply and not over elaborate things. You know, it works out really well for Fnatic in this case, and Team Global just didn't really have an answer, did they? Obviously, they started as terrorists on train. That's a big disadvantage. Um, at one point, it looked like they were they were going to string some rounds together, but Fnatic were just too strong, and they adapted too quickly to them, not allowing them any room whatsoever. Fnatic are your uh, victors, and in my mind, they deserve it. Yep, definitely can't disagree with that one. Fnatic were the better team on the day. They deserve the victory. They will be progressing through to the grand finale and they will face off against either Mouse or Titan and that best of three comes up next. I believe it's scheduled to start in about 10 minutes. So we will be live very shortly guys. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break and rejoin us. we we'll be live for the epic game, the epic finale of the semi-finals between Titan and Mouse. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 